Hey everyone, it's Melly. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Kors Lip Butters. Um, please tell me what you guys think. I have a lamp behind the camera today because I don't have a lot of natural light. So please tell me if this is okay. It's kind of rainy and I didn't want it to be all dark and stuff. So, um, I'm going to be talking about the Kors Lip Butters. Um, this is going to kind of be my two cents, what I think about them, and kind of my review of them, I guess. Um, so the Kors Lip Butters, I'm sure you guys have heard of them. If not, you guys have tried them already. I just kind of want to add my two cents in about these. Um, these are about $10 at Sephora of Sephora.com. Um, I have three of them. I have this one in Mango, um, Guava, and Pomegranate. And, um, I got them in a pack of three for $20, which I thought was a really good deal because they're $10 each. So if I buy them separately, it would be $30. Um, the reason I did this is because I really, really, really wanted the mango because I love this color. Um, but they didn't have it buy separately, but it came in a three pack, so I figured why not. It was a pretty good deal. And I have a, I had a gift card, so, um, that was my reasoning of it. Um, I think they smell really, really good. Okay, here's the thing. The jasmine one that everyone is so, like, fanatical about, I think, that's so much hyped up about the jasmine one. I don't think that one smells really good at all. I, th I don't like the smell of that at all. Um, I don't think the color's that great either, which is why I didn't get it. Um, okay, so this is what it says on the pot. They come in these little pots with the little twist-off caps. But I'll tell you guys what it says on the pot. It says, Chorus Natural Products. A buttery lip balm that melts on the lips and offers a shiny tinted finish. The combination of shea butter and rice wax offers deep hydration and softness, ideal for chapped lips. Dermatologically tested, mineral oil free and silicon free. Um, propylene glycol free and ethanolamine free. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is, but it's probably a good thing. Okay, so the guava one. Okay, so you open the cap and it comes like this this little like um kind of translucent thing um you guys whenever I open this I have to smell it because it smells so good like I can't even explain it, it just smells really good um the jasmine one's kind of eh it doesn't smell bad but okay so this is the clear one it comes in a little pot the consistency of these are pretty nice they're like you know they're pretty nice um they go on really smoothly. They give a nice sheen. It's not glossy, but it's not matte. I really like the finish. I have one of them on right now. You guys can see that. Um, really nice. It's not sticky. That's, I think, the big plus of this. Even though it comes in a pot, um, it is not sticky at all whatsoever. Um, I think that's a really good thing. Um, I kind of like that it comes in a pot. I know a lot of people don't like it. Um, I kind of like that it comes in a pot because then you can control kind of where it goes because if it's like a chapstick or a lip gloss, you can have to look in the mirror and go like this. Whereas if it's on your finger, you can kind of feel where your lip is and you don't have to, and you won't like go over. You kind of, you know, get what I mean. Okay, um, this is the pomegranate one. It's kind of a reddish pink. It smells really good too. Um, this one has the biggest dip out of all of them because I've used this one the most. I've had these for about two weeks. Um, I really like them. They are fairly moisturizing, I think. They are not the least moisturizing. They're close to the most moisturizing lip conditioners slash chapsticks that I've ever used. I think they last for a good couple hours um, before I have to reapply or before I start feeling kind of funny. You know how you get the feeling like your, chips are all, like your lips are all dry? It's probably about two or three classes before I feel like that, and that's about three hours. Um, so, this pomegranate one, the, the, um, the consistency of this, sorry, the consistency of this one's pretty nice, too. If you guys can see that color, it stays pretty true to the pot. Um, you can always blend it out and make it a little bit more sheer, like that. Um, it's, um, you can also put this kind of on your cheek to give you kind of a nice little glow. Um, I have not tried that. I might try that, though. It looks like it'll be a good cream base or a good base for your blush over it so it'll stay longer hey this is my favorite you guys the mango one is my favorite it smells the best 
the color is amazing. I love this color. Um, and also the consistency of this one is the creamiest of them all, I think. Um, it is super creamy. I can just touch it and I can feel it. Um, I'm going to put this on my lips. The color stays pretty true. And you guys are not going to be able to see this because I already have this on my lips. So I really like this. Um, and the smell is amazing. Like, I can smell it. Oh my gosh. You guys, this smells amazing. Okay. I'm just going to swatch this on my hand a little bit for you guys to see. So if you guys can see that, you can always blend it in a little bit too. So, it gives a really nice color. I think the mango one smells the best out of all of them. I smelled all of them when I was at the store. I was very tempted to get the plum one too, but yeah, I'll get that next time. Um, uh, it's not sticky, which I think is a big plus. Because if it, you know, a lot of the other ones in a pot, they're really sticky. This one isn't sticky. Which I think is amazing. Okay. So, um, I definitely recommend getting them out of all of them. I think you should just go smell them. Even if you don't want them, just go smell them. I think the in and of itself is enough to get them because they smell so good. Um, they're about 10 bucks each. They are slightly pricey for a chapstick slash lip butter. But I think they're completely worth it. Um... I don't know, I just like it because they give a nice sheen, they add color, they definitely are moisturizing. And, you know, even if you don't like color, they have the guava one, which is clear, and you can put it on before, like, lipsticks and stuff, um, which works really well, I've done it. Um, I definitely like them. Um, yeah, go check them out at um, your local Sephora, sephora.com. Um, they have a ton of colors. They have, like, plums, and they have the jasmine, of course, which is... A light pink so if you kind of like the light pink baby pink or to toward nude colors that would work really well you could always get the clear which is guava which smells amazing um they have a plummy and then they have like um a darker pink one I think um they have a ton of different colors so you can go check them out um they're really nice I definitely recommend them I will definitely re be re I will definitely be repurchasing these um yeah so that's my two cents on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.